Check, 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 check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold up. Hold, hold up. So let's get ready to, to rumble. rumble. And now. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one. <laughs> Yo, it used to be lit. Yo. Bro, the timing of the bell. Uh, yo. Ma! 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 <laughs> you, remember, you remember that? I used what, to be, I used to watch that. Bro, bro, High School Musical. Oh, I used yeah, to watch that watch in High School Musical and be like, what is Ashley Tisdale doing? Yo, every time I used to watch that, I every time it ended, bro, I used to go in the mirror, bro, and like, Go crazy with the <laughs> Bro, you get your head in the game. Get your, get your, get your, get your. <laughs> you ever done that before? Bro, yeah. what? Bro, I mom. don't dance. Get it out of the park. <laughs> Yo. Nah, that's crazy, bro, bro. What? One time I tried to put uh, water on the floor. And like, you know, and it's try to sweep the water with it. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he tried to give aesthetic. <laughs> production. <laughs> Hey man, hold on. Hey, let me let me bring in the show, man. Yeah, let yeah, me my bring fault, in the my show, fault, man. back man yep. this is another episode I of what uh, this little thing we like to call call can't make this a podcast yes, sir i am your host j real to the suave man and this young sir here i'm just you, regular rasheed you feel me is that what i told call, him last call time? him regular rasheed. that's, what I that's told not him. what you told him last time no, that's what i told him last if time if you're gonna say that then call you... me rasheed no i'm but saying but if you feel like calling me any other words or names AKA Rob. Ain't nobody regular around here, first off. So you right, my bad, my fault, my fault. But yeah, nah, it's me, Rashid. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the cut. Ready for everything and anything. This man's a scab. He said, I'm in the cut. You what right. you talking about? So just disclaimer for this episode, this dunce here. I did. Forgot I his pulled, headphones. I pulled I pulled the dumb one. I At did. the house. I did. I'm not understanding as to why he sees these big things on my head. I don't know what he expected to have on his. My fault. Anyways. My fault. Now I gotta imagine the songs you play. Man. Damn. Straight thoughts. Damn. Intrusive th like Yo. Come on. Yo. We are in our second episode. Hey man, I'm this is not this is number podcast. two, man. I'm gonna yell out every number like it's suicide. <laughs> 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 One. <laughs> yo, every yo, every did, episode we you do. You did the pacer fitness test. That's cool. Yo, <laughs> that that's what we we gotta do. That yo, <laughs> bro, <Every episode. laughs> bro. Let me just say that exposed everybody. <laughs> the pacer test. Listen. If you Yo, went to public high school and you did the PACER test, you know that <laughs> that test alone exposed <laughs> souls. Everybody, everybody. All the, all the gangsters, all the Bro, bullies. Even the athletes. All the, even, even the, the athletes, athletes, athletes got exposed. Even the athletes got exposed. The nerds, <laughs> too. The, the people who don't run. I ain't gonna lie though, in my, in my school, the nerds was the ones who was, was the like, one who's winning. Yeah, bro, let me do it again. They, they were like, encore. I was bro, like, bro, wilding. Bro. Tripping. The PACER test was, mm -mm. it like something about it just seemed very illegal for high school students at right. the time. That's what I'm saying. And we, I don't know why we didn't start a petition to like Bro. cut it like. It was basically suicides, right? Bro. But it was slower suicides. Bro, do you, you feel what I'm saying? And then it sped up. Like. You remember that? Bro. <laughs> go. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> beep. Now, nah, sometimes it went, either it was a go or it was like a beep. Yeah, it was the beep, and each time the beep, beep got faster. The beep got shorter yeah, and bro. shorter oh in between rest goodness. time. So I you was, had, bro, there's so people sad. holding their knees <laughs> after the first five. <laughs> Yo, I was nah. right after the first five. People was complaining in ninth grade, bro. I, I remember confused. that, bro. I was so confused. I was like, why am I doing? Bro, this? the pacer test, the little uh, push-up test they had us do. 
Right. I don't know. I don't know that if this was down. in every school, but they had us do the trunk, the trunk lift. Yeah, because they have to measure the. Well, yeah. I don't know what they measuring? The sit, the sit up, John. That that push up one though. The push up one. Now begin the push up section. Yo, expose. <laughs> begin. Expose, bro. Yo, everybody. Everybody. Because ain't nobody doing push ups like that, bro. Nobody Everybody's doing, doing a push-up. quick push up. Nah, I, I'm gonna speak for myself though, because at that time, I know for a fact I was doing push ups. When I like, when I really started doing push ups, bro, I feel I felt like I was really ahead of the game physically than everybody. I wasn't. I wasn't. Like I, I didn't weigh more. I was never like a fat kid growing up or nothing like that. But once I really started doing push ups, I started. Right. Feeling like semi, like the Hulk, almost, right. bro. But, like, right, but once push- you consistently start doing push ups, you that's start true. feeling no, like that's that. True, that's true. It really give you that confidence. You start that- off can't do 30, but then two days two days after, you could bang out 30 like it's nothing. No, for real, though. You know what I'm saying? Now it you really get 50. And push ups, like, I feel like psychologically give you that confidence, too, though. It does. It does. You know what I'm saying? Like, once does. you bust out 30 a day, mm-hmm. oh, like that confidence. Or not even a day. Increases, like, for you to want to do more. Right. Know? Now you're right. You're right. To 40, right. to then 50. What do, you, do you call that adrenaline? Because I feel like, I don't know, if, if if your body's not used to something, it is muscle memory. But if your body's not used to something, right? Say, yeah. for example, push-ups. And you do five today. And then tomorrow you could do 10. And then the next day you could do 15. You know what I'm saying? And so on and so forth. Uh, is that is that like an I think, adrenaline you I get? Think it's, I think... Like a confidence boost? Adrenaline, but I think it's all... Because when you say adrenaline, I, I'm thinking That's more... That's in the moment? In the moment yeah. or more survival. Right, You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, right. It's more, it's more mental than anything, right. bro. So a- Every exercise, anything physical starts mm. up here before it even gets right. to physical, bro. Yeah, you, have to, you have to mentally... I'm not no personal trainer. Oh, he is. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But, you hear him? You and, but like, and nah, seriously though, anything I feel like... You want to do physically, right. you have to get prepared mentally first. You no, know what it's, I'm it's true. And, and, it's that, true. and tackle that. And some people can't even get past that. Into that's, the, the that's one of the best ways to overcome your fears is working out. Because yes. once you start working out... Bro, you, the level of confidence you yeah. get from right. working out right. consistently, mm-hmm. like your body really responds to that a certain way, bro. Yeah, that's true. People and we overlook that all the time, like as, yeah. like as everyday humans, bro. Like the confidence, the gym, or just working out—not the gym, because you don't need the gym to be just healthy. Doing something, but being healthy or working out consistent physical activity. Right. The confidence that that gives you is something that sh- should never be overlooked, bro. No, and I, I agree with you. At it's least thirty essential. minutes a day, I encourage. It's bro. essential for any for everybody if you can do it. You know what I'm saying? If you're able body, you should be able to. To, to bro, for, for any hours. age. There's 80 year olds taking grown, full blown jogs. Today. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? At five, six a.m. in the morning. Bro. I see something like that. I want to get up and I want to do as much as I can. Dog. In the morning. Most times I get up in the morning, bro. But I get. Do you ever get up in the morning and you just, your brain just get flooded with negative thoughts? Like <laughs> I don't, don't want to do this. I don't yeah. want to get up. You feel me? This man, the devil. <laughs> yeah. He just wake up and start just thinking. Just I just be. I mean, like just like, negative. Like, just things that aren't. Nah, I, I feel I hear you know what, what you I'm mean. Saying? Though. Like motivational, so, you feel like me? sometimes, like yo, not I'm I'm a, we gonna keep it all the way funky on this podcast, man. Right. Listen, not every day you wake up is gonna be positive, bro. Not That's every true. day is a positive day. That's you true. have to know what negative days feel like in order to enjoy the positive. That's days. true. That's true. You know, taking it taking it back to the gym that happens at the gym. It sounds you at the gym, and you don't even wanna you don't even wanna be at the gym. But that's the best time to be at the gym. When that's you don't the best be times. Time. You know what I'm saying? They say, and even basketball, bro, the best times to, to really shoot free throws is when you're tired. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that. I think Kobe said something like that or something. You like, gotta be exhausted when you're when you. You got that. like the best the the true showing of a player mm-hmm. is when they're totally exhausted when it's forty minutes in the game and right. everybody's huffing and puffing. Right. That's when true greatness is shown in those moments, no, for bro. Real. Real. You know what I mean? Like in those moments of like where you feel like you can't no more. You can't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And right. it's easier said than done, bro. Because I definitely I know for a fact that I have those that moments, point. bro. Them suicides. L- listen, man. You play One. basketball. You got to do the suicides, my any, Yo, any ball player watching this knows that mental fortitude you gotta have to. Complete them suicides. Coach used to just yell out. And if you're the last one, you're doing it again. Oh my! If you're the last one, you're doing it again. That's Son. the worst. That's the worst. That's the worst time of, in practice. Bro, it gotta be. And training too. And training too. But anyways, listen. Y'all need to work out for a half an hour, at least a half an hour. Yo. And if you don't feel like doing it, 
Do it. You been yo, you been you been watching these playoffs stuff? These bro, M- these NBA playoffs, bro. bro? You, can we can we touch on that for a yo, second? Bro? I ain't gonna lie to you, draw. I wasn't I, I wasn't watching. I, was, I got I to gotta sit for this before during I speak the season, on this. Go during ahead, the season, bro. I ain't watched many games during the season, right? But as I as I integrated myself, or let's say integrated my eyes in the playoffs, right? Everything went crazy. You got the first seed losing to the to the eighth seed, right? Was that, did they get swept or did they win one game? They won one game, mm-hmm. right? So they, they, they won, they won, uh, they beat the first seed. First seed's supposed to be crazy, right? Best record in the league. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm referencing Miami Heat. Right? Where they at right now? The conference finals. As an AC. You feel me, dog? Bro. Bro, you telling me? LeBron? LeBron at, what, 38? Never mind. 57? LeBron at 57 years old. Essentially, in my eyes, LeBron is 57. He ain't in his 30s. LeBron is in his 50s. Right? LeBron's ageless. So he doesn't even have an, an age, a right. number at this point. Right. You know what? I take that back. His age is yeah, number that six. Back. That's it. I take that back. Oh. What's going on, fam? What's, what's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, we got a blooper. Yo, tell her you call her back. We got a blooper. Tell her you call her back, son. I don't know who that was. Hey, yo. Nah, we live. We live. Right. We yo, live. Come but, on, son. But the playoffs, dog. It's, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Last year playoff was cool. But this year playoffs, I think, is is much more entertaining. M- meaning, it's it's the challenges are bigger. You know what I'm saying? Or not bigger, but it's it's a lot more to digest, kind of. Mm-hmm. You know, like last year was cool. Everybody, yeah, last year was cool. But I just think, and maybe maybe it's it's a uh, it's a uh, the fact that the the reigning champs are are gone in the in the uh, the Warriors. But dog, the Denver Nuggets. Them boys is unstoppable. You see them? They got they got three They're a team, star- bro. Bro, they got four starters that'll give you twenty easily. They're that that's a that's what you call a team, bro. You feel me, bro? They remind me of 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 the the Golden State Warriors when KD was playing. Th- that offense was unstoppable. My thing is, bro. The teams that make it this far, listen. Anybody who's into basketball or just knows the game, you don't even have to play. The teams that make it this far in these playoffs are the teams that have that depth, bro. That can, right. that have those three or four mm-hmm. players to give you productive right. numbers, bro. And on top of great stellar team defense, the Nuggets, mm-hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Their defense in the playoffs has just been. You can't break them, dude. You can't figure them out at Nobody's all. Let me just yet. let me just give credit to this man, Nikola, Nikola Jokic, man. He has been just doing things that we, I don't want to even say it, haven't seen in a long time, saying, haven't seen at all. We are privileged to We're witness. privileged to, to witness. witness these. We, we, things like this happen in our day and age, mm-hmm. and we as, like, again, basketball watchers overlook right. these things. We appreciate these kind of things. What right. Jokic is doing right now, just as a center, just not even as a center, just as a basketball player, period. I just feel like it's just phenomenal and it's nothing short of the essence of what basketball is. Right. So I don't like you you can say what you want. He may not be your favorite player, bro, mm-hmm. but he is just playing you basketball. Gotta you gotta respect the game. Jamal Murray is another one. He's a that superstar. If he is not the if he is not a uh MVP Within the next, I say five years, or or at least within the face, the conversation of face of the league within the next five years, something's wrong. He came back from injury bro. last year, bro, and and yo, listen, he's killing it right now. Michael Porter Jr. He's on the rise. Oh he be letting it fly. Oh he don't be passing the ball, but he be letting it Dude. fly. His confidence Dude. is crazy. Caldwell Caldwell Pope, bro. He don't miss. Like he no. has just not been missing. No, you don't. You really don't. In the in the playoffs, bro. Like his just his efficiency shooting the ball. You yeah. that's another piece of depth you have. Bro. He compliments like, the team really well though, because he's also a starter, right? Yeah, he, I, I he's he's, I, he's also a Cause, starter. Because yeah. they those four players. Let's let's name them. Jokic. And that's not all. Aaron like, Gordon. Aaron Gordon. Uh, Michael Porter Jr. and and Caldwell Pope. Caldwell Pope and Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray. So four players out of that lineup, ex- exclude uh, Caldwell Pope. They they already they stretched the the floor 
for Caldwell Pope. Yeah. Which is why his shots are much more uh, consistent and much more um, accurate because mm-hmm. he gets open shots so so much, so often now. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's four other yeah. players for you to, to pay attention to. And if you don't, they're going to drop 20 on you, bro. 30 on you. And that, again, that like the best teams make it this far in the playoffs always, bro. And the Nuggets are just a new, new school form of that mm-hmm. right in front of our eyes, bro. I, I'm calling them to win the finals. Listen, bro. Hey, this 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 Eastern Conference right now, mm-hmm. I have to give credit to Jimmy Butler. Right. His run in the playoffs is amazing. He's probably arguably outside of Jokic been the best player in the playoffs. He has to up be. to this point he because listen, be. listen, we're recording this right now. This game seven ha- hasn't happened, but the Heat were up three zero. Three zero. Nah, I was. And now the that. Celtics. Have now caught that. up from three games to nothing, bro. They and they they could break history, and they could make history. Or make history. They could make history. on what Jimmy Butler was already Tr- making. making history. <laughs> yeah, bro, this playoffs is insane. It bro. is insane. We didn't have much of that like, last year, bro. Did we? No, bro, we this is probably the best playoffs, and I I'm on record for saying this too since the since the bubble, bro. I feel like people, right. people always yeah. talk smack about the bubble, the bubble but the bubble fire. really exposed, bro. It showed uh-huh. who's who, bro. And this playoffs is showing who's who. It's not about the best, the team with the best record always. Right. It's about the team who who wants it more. It's, more it's about determined. the team who has the most chemistry. Right. It's about the team who who has the best coaching yeah. because the Heat has spectacular coaching. Oh yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying. Closer, that's yeah. that's a big part of why they made it, made it this far. He's one of the top. Time. He's one of the top coaches, top five coaches of our time. Yeah, um, the the our uh, of the like, decade for sure. Yeah, definitely. This I I love watching this playoffs and you know this finals is about to happen. We we about to see this game seven. My brother gotta take a sip. Gotta take a sip. This is what we bring up. What you drinking? Don't let him lie to y'all. Don't let that him. Cold, you... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have most of the stuff you're supposed to have. You just feel like, huh? Yo, you, just feel you like that one kid in class right now. Yo, you got a pencil <laughs> right before the test. Yo, 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 you got a pencil, bro? Please? Please? You got a whole case right there, you bro. You got a sharpener, too? Come on, bro. Please. I didn't bring one. Yes, not one, bro. That's, that's you, right? My bad, bro. My bad. <laughs> so, dog, tell me about your, uh, your, your week this week, man. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta decompress, man. We gotta do that all every episode, all right? If you, if you didn't know that, right? Mm-hmm. We have to decom, we have. Is it decompress or decompose? Nah, nah, nah. It ain't decompose. That's different. My bad, my bad. It's the wrong vocab word. You gotta decompress. You feel me? Talk nah, about, for sure, for talk sure. Talk about stuff, man. So how, from from Monday to, let's say Friday, how was that? Nah, I think we. We got through the week, bro. Honestly, mm-hmm. um, it's had its moments. Feel me? Right. right. Um, I'm gonna be honest, man. Just a lot of weird energy around me. Weird energy? Yeah, ra- rather weird energy around right, that's, me. That's a conversation to have. You know what I'm okay. saying? Well, it's just like you on the right when platform you, to talk about this, so. Yeah, you know, just just like all I'm gonna say is when you when. Your spirit it can always indicate when something isn't right yeah. around you. Like your intuition. When, when something isn't for you or when when you've outgrown certain energy, your yeah. spirit will always tell you or find a way of letting you know time and time again. So, <laughs> you know, I think my spirit has been kind of more, um, like, louder as of late um, because, you know... It's just been around me a little right. bit more, more than I, I've, I've liked it to, but... Like negative, a, some, a negative... Just weird energy, bro. Negative, okay. Very weird, rather... Energy that just doesn't that, serve... Is it, that's, that's making you question certain stuff? Certain that, that makes me question... Not only question, you right, but mm-hmm. like energy that just doesn't serve me as a person, that doesn't serve my growth, right. that doesn't serve um, the traits that I um, exert out into the world, so... Mm-hmm. It's just stuff like that. I'm, I'm these days. I think I'm just more cognizant of. Mm-hmm. Um, so I feel like that was kind of like the only barrier. 
within my within my week if right. you would say right. but i really haven't had any barriers bro like you know i work i'll be working three days a week so i'll be off a, a lot i'll be having a lot of time to myself to mm -hmm. just think and just regather so even when i do get into those moods of like feeling a certain type of way of certain energy around me it's like i still get that time to myself to just regather and remind myself of who I am, you know what I'm saying? And right. just do the things that just make me feel centered right. overall. Right. Um, but overall, just a good week, bro. Um, yeah, that's important, dog. I'm, yeah. You know, really just, just just getting back to myself, I guess right. you could say. Right. No, that's that's great. That's great, bro. And it, it's it's also it's also great that you could you could you know um, you could you could decipher certain energies. You can, and you're also aware of those energies. You know what I'm saying? And you can, yeah. You know, and you're able to to kind of uh, process them. I feel like that's what you've been doing. Yeah, it's yeah. Your, your spirit will always tell you, like I said, bro. Right. It just gets louder and louder by with. Right. The more I don't know. I do, wouldn't say with age. It just with experience. I think. I think it's the more you do. You know what I'm saying? The more active you are. And the more things that that's going on in your life, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna break some things up. It's gonna cause some yeah. some I'd say damage for lack of a better term. It's gonna cause some damage. Yo, be mindful of talking into the mic. You be talking like Conway up in this. Am I? Yeah. Mark, Mark yeah, like right? that. Like, my come boy, on, bro. My boy, my boy. What's wrong with you, Scarlett? Shout out to my boy. <laughs> <laughs> back <Wow>. the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck back? Nah, but for real though, it it I think it's I think it's a great um I wouldn't say skill. It's not really a skill. It's a great thing to have. The fact that you could realize these things and 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 not feel bad about the fact that you have bad energy about, around you. You know what I'm saying? It's more like just staying aware of it. So when whenever whenever it's, it 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 comes at you, you are kind of already aware of it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I, and you know, I just, I don't even want to say bad, the word bad energy necessarily. Right. I use the word weird for a reason being that sometimes what we deem as bad may not be bad to a certain other group of people. It's just weird to you and it just may not be your flow. I'm not just going to call it bad necessarily. People just used to a certain way of living and thinking and I'm just not maybe i'm just looking for something new that's why that's kind of just been my motto lately like i, I feel like I, i've been needing not needing but desiring just new energy i think that happens with growth though that that does not and not just not just physical growth it's mental growth yeah you know what i'm saying so i think i think that 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 goes along with it um we i think we needed a new word for energy you know what i'm saying we got to choose a different what what word are you thinking of? i don't even know man can't say that's vibe. a strong word though energy vibe it's a it's a broad spirit. word spirit nah. it's it's a real it's an umbrella term honestly bro energy yeah it is it is it speaks it speaks to a, a lot right to everything no and that's that's true that's very true that's very true i'm just sitting here waiting for you to ask me how my week was you know what i'm saying i don't know what you Oh what yeah, I, I i definitely mm -hmm. wasn't i was just nah mm -hmm. let me stop yo how was your week see, though bro see, you don't even care about yeah, bro. That's all good, though. It's all good. My week was talk weak, talk to us. Tell us about your week, bro. Nah, I can't turn my face now. I look like Conway. Anyway, I said that already. My, that's all right, man. See, you see what I work with. You see what I work with. This is what I work with. My week was alright, man. It was a long week. Um, I worked a lot this week. Um, didn't really have any stumbles, honestly. Uh, maybe. Maybe my stumble was my my ability to create this week. I wasn't able to. I, I was working so much that I just kind of gave this week a, a pass. Like you know what I'm saying. Like I'm just going, I'm just gonna relax this week. You know, get my mind right. I was writing this week, like writing, Did like you? pen to pad. Like, not like a verses? song. No, 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 no. Just writing. Just just processing my thoughts. Okay. I was doing that this week. You know what I'm saying? That's a great, I should um, do that. that's a great tactic. I should do that. If you ever feeling flustered, like, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. No, you're good. Because this is something that really helps me, bro. This is something yeah. that I do. If you ever feel flustered, bro, 
the the act of writing i don't know what connection it has to your mind psychologically right but the way it soothes mm -hmm. my mind when i'm like have a lot to right. say and i, I could just sit i'll be sitting down and just writing sometimes and right. i don't i try not to lift the pen off the paper kind of mm -hmm. when i do things like that yeah, and it's it's some of the most soothing kind of things i'd be feeling like i actually spoke right i feel much better when once i, I wrote when I two write. to three pages there's there's this there's this uh there's this Doctor on uh, online, right? His, I can't. Remember, I think his name is Jordan Peterson, and okay. you probably heard about him. Yeah, I probably. Um, I, I, I have. I and have. he he stresses the fact that if you know how to write, you anything you can get anything and everything you want if you know how to write, right? Mm -hmm. And that comes with not just not just writing a letter. That comes with actually being able to to write down whatever is on your mind yeah. and able to to process that. So I've been practicing this week, you know what I'm saying? And I got like three pages, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Because it's kind of difficult to, I wouldn't say I'm a writer. I know how to write, but I'm not like a, I don't I don't really do that. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. read more than I write. You feel me? So, facts, facts, facts. but this week I was like, I really need to like sit down and kind of, kind of understand why I'm thinking certain things. You yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. So, so I did that this week. Uh, writing is important, you know, back to what you're saying. It's, it, and it helps. Um, I worked seven days this week. That's a lot. What the hell? Yeah, bro, seven days, dog. What? I had to, I had to work seven days this week. Um, this man said seven. Seven. That is the biggest boo from, of from, the week. <laughs> from Monday. Nah. From Monday to Sunday. You know, Another I boo. To, I had to. I had to. Um, seven days. It bro? was worth it though, because it was a lot of learning. Uh, a lot of learning to do. Hey. Um, it was worth it. That's it. Only happens once, once a, a year. So yeah, I take it. You know what I'm saying. Um, and then I was preparing for this, getting excited already. Um, but I, I really had no, uh, no weird uh, situation this week. It was, it was, it was, uh, it was an alright week. And and back to what you were saying though, uh -huh. I do, I do. Um, when whenever you really do start doing something outside of what the the norm is mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying you really do start to see weird stuff yeah. you start to you start to see weird stuff from from a lot of from a lot of things yeah you know what i'm saying from a lot of people um and i'm just saying that to to kind of um understand where you coming from and, and kind of yeah putting that out there as well for sure for sure but yeah bro what do you what do you think accountability is or what it means to you mm. or should i say i was about to ask you literally the same thing like that was such right. a random like word you threw out but i mean to answer this is why we this is why we partners Dude, this this is why we brothers your oh, verbiage man. sometimes bro that won't, that won't go that won't go hit me in the in the, in the back of my head <laughs> he said that's why we're partners <laughs> yeah that's why we're brothers <laughs> what Dog, you can't be putting me on blast like that. Accountability, though, that's yeah. That's, what, do you, what does that's it mean a word? To you? Accountability it's is a big word. It's it's it just has a lot of letters. I was it's gonna not, say how many letters do you think it has? I what like eighteen? Nah, a little bit less. We'll spell check that after this yeah, episode. A little bit less. But um, nah, it, I think accountability. When I hear that word, I just think of being aware of self. And know and knowing, just knowing self, bro. That's what it really just comes down to. I know that's not the concrete right. definition of being accountable. Right. But when you say when you say self, you you mean on the basis of understanding every every move you make and every in every step and every step you take. Essentially, bro. Precisely. That sounds I was like saying, a song. What song is it? I was saying, what what song? Every step you take. No, let me stop. This man half white. <laughs> I said I don't know. He could be talking about some white people songs. Well, it's not. No disrespect. I think like Richard songs. Pryor. Richard Pryor came out with Wait, the song. Wait, what? Yeah. Richard Pryor, the comedian. Yeah, bro. He make music. Y'all ain't know he made music. <laughs> <sighs> 
<laughs> but nah, I honestly though, that's a that's a good word, bro, because I feel like accountability, like the whole concept of accountability, literally can save a life. Mm-hmm. Real quick story, right? What? I heard this online, uh Patrick Cloud, the Who's the that? the guy who made roast me. Oh, oh, right? oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was on his Instagram, he said something like this, bro. He was like, Yo, accountability saves a life. He said he was coming out of some event somewhere bro um and this man like ran a stop sign and nearly killed him bro nearly killed him like i can hear the emotion in his in his voice right bro he stops right the man stops like right before he hits him as he's on the verge of like cursing him out basically and just telling him off Uh the man gets out and says, I am so sorry. This is completely my fault. And Patrick Cloud said he just froze. Like he stopped him in his tracks from even speaking. And he just, you're damn right you're sorry. <laughs> and he just like, the man just <laughs> left. He just went about his day. But he was like, yo, this is the kind of things. Accountability saves a life. Because right. he was ready to kill this man on right. the verge. Right. You know what I mean? But the fact that he just even got out. The car, knowing he was wrong for running mm-hmm. that stop sign, right. about to hit him. It's like, yo, that's kind of like the whole basis of what accountability is to mm-hmm. me. You know what I mean? Right. It's um, understanding that and it, liter- and it literally does save lives, bro. Right. He could have just went. He could have almost hit him and kept driving, bro. Mm-hmm. But he got out the car and like, yo, really, you know Stop what I mean? Stop to, 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 to let him know that. To let him know, bro. Like, like yo, that was head. dead wrong. Right. And I like, I am so sorry. I was you, driving very recklessly. So, do you think? Do you think there's a there's a type there's a lack of accountability today? Today, meaning in it, not just this year, but in the past is, is five that, years, do you think we've been lacking accountability? Like, is, have you seen a trend at all? Is that is that rhetorical? I mean, it could be. I'm it, like, it depends that, on how you answer the question. <laughs> Bro, this man said in the last five years, right. bro, in life, since our since our conception mm-hmm. into, onto this earth, you know what I'm saying? Right. That probably didn't even make any sense. But since our existence, bro, since the beginning, right. there has been many cases of a lack of accountability in yeah, some way. Right, but I'm saying, I'm saying... Not just in the last five years. Though. I see what okay, you mean, though. Okay. But it's, this generation... Right. It's really prominent hi- now. Really, it's prominent yeah. now because this generation highlights time and time again of exactly what we're talking about, I feel. But account lack of accountability has been a thing since the beginning of time, bro. Mm-hmm. I can go down the the, the list. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I think it's I think it's important to black 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 people were held hostage to a lot lack of accountability. Right. Right. Feel me, like I can go as deep as that if I really wanted to. That's a fact. That's a fact. Feel me, but so that's that's how I really feel about that, though. That I mean, how do you feel about um, you know, accountability and like just just the face of that today? Similar. I think I think it's account having accountability or recognizing accountability in yourself is important. That's very important. One hundred. Individualistic. Individual. Individually. Um. Recognizing accountability is so important to a human being. It is so important. Whoever you are, it is it is so important to recognize when you're wrong, recognize when you need to do this, recognize when you need to stop this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's very important. But I think I think we have been lacking it. Yeah. Far more than we've ever been lacking it mm-hmm. today. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's there's so many and, and it might be just because of the media. And, and the things that people are putting up on, on the media. But people who are around me, bro, it's it seemed, or it seems like, that's not even a thought. You know, if somebody, know, if somebody does something and they know that they're wrong, they don't really, they don't really, they don't really want the, um, the embarrassment of, of being wrong. The embarrassment wrong. or the guilt. You know, or the guilt of being wrong. And, and, and ideally, bro, I'm sorry to cut you no, off. You're good, you're good. None of us ideally really want that initially. None of right. us really want to hold a level of guilt or embarrassment. <coughs> just 
just or initially some, or speaking. feeling uncomfortable. In, yeah, in the at moment, all. Like in the us as humans, just like psychologically, bro, we we don't like the feeling I feel of being singled out. We don't. No, no human don't. on this earth likes being in any way be feeling singled out or just, yeah. you know, the only one. Or in a, in a negative light, too. Not in even, a negative when light. When you lack accountability, you've done something negative that you don't want to, you don't want to put out there. You For don't sure, want to, bro. To, to show at all. I agree you know 100%. Saying? I take it a step further, bro. I say, I was just saying this the other day, accountability for me is one of the strongest judgments of character. For me, in, in any person, bro, right. their ability to have conflict and seek accountability in what they need to seek seek accountability in, right. that's one of the strongest judgments of character. And those who don't do that, it, it, it really shows, like mm-hmm. I said, character yeah. in a negative light as well. Like I feel like a lack of accountability in a way is, is sort of um, a reflection of selfishness, bro. Ignorance. Selfishness. It's it's a it's a form of selfishness yeah. when you really think about it, bro. Right. Here I am deliberately. I did something to this person, acting like it didn't happen, mm-hmm. and expecting this person to just process their feelings and just get o- just let get it over go. it yeah, and it just go. let it go. That's there's a there's a level of selfishness within that that train of thought within itself, and a lot of people don't see that, and that. I feel like it's a big, big problem today. No, that's, that's, a, that's a huge problem. That ruins friendships, bro. It's a big problem. You can't, you can't tell your friend. Or I know in my friend group, we can go down this rabbit hole for for hours. I know, Facts. I know in my in my friend group, I have a bunch. I must say, you know yeah, what I'm, I'm pretty famous, guys. I, you know, a lot of people like me, and I like a lot of people. You feel me? So, I think it's mine. All right, baby. Okay, I got two friends. You know what I'm saying? Two friends. Relax. Okay, you ain't got to tell everybody everything. Okay, dang. But anyways, what I'm saying is. I'm, I have friends that 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 I know lack accountability, but I'm the type to kind of I don't really, I don't like to sugarcoat things. I'm gonna tell you like it is, because that's how it should be. If I don't tell you like how it is or like it is, then then I'm doing both of us. A, uh, we're not and that's um what's a the dis- word? a disservice a disservice. I'm doing both of us a disservice. I'm not helping me and I'm not helping you. So if if I gotta tell you the truth, in your face, I have to do that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's my job. And if I'm wrong, I'm gonna say I'm wrong, right? Because if I don't say I'm wrong, then I can't. I'm not helping you. That's that's not the situation. But I have friends that do lack accountability, and when I I think I need to work on how I explain to them that they are lacking accountability. You know, there's times when I'm just when I'm just telling my friends, listen, you you're being very ignorant right now. Right. Yeah. And that's probably not the, the best way to, to, to go at, you know, addressing in a, a type of situation. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it, I, I feel like if your friends really take you holding them accountable for something as anything else, are they really your friends, bro? Mm-hmm. That's just the question you really got to ask yourself, bro. When, yeah. when, when you can't thoroughly check somebody that you, like, know for an extensive period of time. Mm-hmm. When they act like, yo, it's never them. When they act as if, yo, it could just never be me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I would ne- never. Like, that's every, every I'm not going to say everybody because we're not going to generalize. But a lot of people, I'm, my age, I feel, our age, bro, have that mindset, bro, unfortunately. And it just yeah. it ruins a lot um, of just relationships, period. Right. It burns a lot of bridges. And again, it's just a form of like, just ongoing selfishness. This, this, yeah, this it cycle. also creates regrets. You know, you don't really want to, you don't really want to have no regrets, especially when you, I guess, when you're younger, you can you can have a lot more regrets than when you're older. But you don't want to start. That's that's a rabbit hole in itself. Yeah. To go down each time you 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 meet somebody that don't have any accountability. Yeah. And y'all have a great friendship, but because something happens, now, one or the other doesn't want to. You know, showcase that that responsibility of saying I was wrong, or yeah. you were right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and listen, man, we're, I, I'm gonna just say this too. I'm sorry, bro. We humans are selfish. Yeah. We are selfish. We are, we are selfish-minded people. I feel like we we overlook that every day. Just the basis of how we think mm-hmm. day to day is very selfish. Bro. I'm glad you said we because everybody does it. It's bro, we're we're all it. victims. We're all susceptible to these same 
behaviors right. and, and, and traits to some I, extent, yeah. bro. Yep. Yeah. I do I find believe myself that. doing that. I, I I do find myself. I'm not saying I'm perfect, and that and and that I I never lack accountability. Of course I do. Because everybody makes mistakes, you know what I'm saying? Bro, everybody, nobody nobody wants to take accountability right. initially. I don't care who you are. Right. Nobody wants to hold uh, uh, the blame for anything. Mm -hmm. But when it's time, my point in saying that, being that we're selfish, like we're just trained to be selfish, mm -hmm. when it's time to, it's time to, bro. Yeah. And you oh. should take it upon yourself to to want to just grow by, you know, correcting your mistakes when they need to be. Um, corrected. And as a matter of fact, people who have trouble taking accountability teach me to take accountability and just just to be more accountable for myself because that's a reflection of a of a flaw mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Right. When I see that, when I see stuff like that, uh -huh. it's, this comes in many forms, bro. Right. Exactly. But when I see stuff like that, I always take a mental note. Yo, I can I can only only be accountable for myself, bro. Right. I, I try to be as observant to my surroundings as much as I can. I try to say less, you know what I'm saying, and just and just watch people's reaction and and, 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 and actions and whatever they do. I like to I like to really do that because that kind of helps me. That kind of helps me like see how they really do things, you know, with other people, right? And then I kind of I kind of you know decipher whether or not. I'd want to do the same thing or do do something different. Right, like I learned right. from the, the the mistakes from just observing. So yeah. when I see people lacking accountability, in my I already have that in my mind that listen, you better be aware. Yes. You know what I'm saying when it comes to that point. Absolutely, absolutely, bro. Accountability, literally, on a literal and spiritual level, saves a saves a life, bro. It helps a lot, man. If you're accountable, you're accountable for yourself. You will be. I wouldn't say a complete person, but you will, you will, you will be submerged in yourself way more than you would, you would be if you didn't, if you, if you lacked accountability. Yeah. You yeah. know, like say for example, I just started a few weeks, a few months ago, I started going to the gym cause I was like, listen, man, I need some meat on my bones. Um, um, Again with this man's verbiage, I don't know like where he be getting this stuff from. Just the way he just be saying certain stuff with no just malice. See, see, if you like what? If you ain't making, how do you just? I need, I need. <laughs> because I'm not understanding. Like you just gonna say that and just put your hands on your lap right after. Listen, cause I need some meat on my bones. <laughs> And then continue. <laughs> Listen, you gotta sometimes, man. We need some some a little hiccup in the podcast. It can't what? Be, it can't be too serious. You know what? You know what a help though, and I and I for everybody, for everybody, right? This I'm gonna advertise this because everybody should do it. Take a cold shower, mm. like an ice cold shower. I've heard those. Or 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 an ice bath. I've heard those change your right? mental, bro. Dog, dog. I've heard those actually change your, your mental. It's serious. It's, a re it's really a reset. It's really a reset for your body, for your whole body. And, and once you reset this, your mind is also, is also following. That's, that's so tough, though. But I, 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 I definitely really can is. see the, the psychological effect. I've tried that probably for about two days, bro. I've, I can't, bro. It's, I've, not, it's, not, it's, not, something, it's not for the week, bro. No, it's, it's not something to... It's something to be... Speaking of mental fortitude, it's 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 something to be mentally strong for before you go in there. Yes. You know what I'm saying? It takes me about five if I'm doing it, it takes me about five minutes to, to persuade myself to go in the in the in the shower, in the cold shower. But it is if you if you can do it once a week, in the middle of the week, I, I say do it because that, that is really a reset. Don't do it when you're about to go to bed because you ain't gonna fall asleep because you you're gonna stay up for the whole night. But do it when you it's it's more for when you get up in the morning, but do that, and and everything it, it's like a reset, bro. Everything will reset for you. Everything, bro. Yeah, dog. I could definitely see that, man. That's a that was a good one, bro. I ain't go cap. Yo, <laughs> this man. I I wanna just zoom it. <laughs> Listen, I'm just saying, man. You can't. I can't. I don't. I feel naked. Like I don't got my headphones. Hey, man. Am I really a a, a guest? Uh, not a guest. Am I really a co-host right now? 
I don't know what you are without no headphones. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like I lost my I lost my humanity. If like, you don't got my headphones. I'm about to put them in a deaf school. <laughs> Something about that just felt racist. I don't know. We can no, we can cut that out. No, I don't know. We can cut that out. I'm we sorry. We gotta keep that. We gotta keep that. We I'm sorry to all that. my deaf people. Would they be able to hear? <laughs> That's crazy. You didn't just. I didn't. You didn't. I, just... <laughs> Yo, no, unruly. No. You're unruly. What's your, what's, your... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what's your quote of the week? My though, quote bro? of the week. Leave them off on so, a positive uh, note. Check me out. Check me out. Check we me out, not fooling around no more. This is like. Check me out. We serious now. Check me out. Yeah, yeah. Anytime we about to introduce a quote, we gotta we gotta put some play with it. Yeah. All right. Check me out. I read this quote every single day when I get up in Talk the morning. Talk to me. I don't remember what I said in the last episode of what I did with the, the quote that I read. Yeah. But I didn't lie. Like, maybe, but I didn't, right? This, though, I read it every single morning. I get up at 5 in the morning every morning. I think we get it. Every year. And I'll read it for the 15th time. Yeah. I read it every morning, right? Okay. This quote... It's really, it's really, it's, it's, it's probably should be the most important thing to everybody in the world. And if it's not, then you need to listen to what I'm about to say right now. Okay. If you are not prepared to be wrong, you'll never come up with anything, anything original, anything. Do I need to repeat myself? Say it again, bro. I said. For, for, the, for them in the back? I said, I you see said, them? You see them in the I back? I said. Turn the camera. Oh, can't. I said, if you are not prepared to be wrong, you will never come up with anything original. You know what that means, dog? You know what that means? That means if you don't I mean, get up in I'm... the morning and create something and develop something, right? You ain't never going to develop something original. Right? You always gonna copy somebody else. Listen, man. Listen, man. You I'm, can't make listen, this man. up. You can't. You can't make you can't, this up. My boy. My boy. You you can't. You can't. So please listen to what I just said. Replay it. Repeat it. And read it every morning. Alright, bro. For this camera shut off, because you're just taking all the My bad. Time, you tell me. You and tell I don't me like your this. quote. Like. Now, if the camera shut off, we're going to be mad. Hey, introduce your quote. Yo, are you done with yours? Listen, man. I like your quote, though. That was a very... You did, though? You did, though? I appreciate that. I appreciate that, my boy. So, what's up? <sighs> you know I got to zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get closer. Bro. What's your introduction? Let me grab the mic for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to... You need to... You need to let, me, let me set my body up real quick. Whoa. <sighs> Pause. I don't think they can see. Just in case they can't see me, I'm gonna just zoom out. Where we at? Where we at? Quote of the week. Oh, they can see us. Zoom in. Because this is. I have to zoom in because this is the note I'm leaving them. We're okay. leaving them all. Fast. Fast. This is super important. Okay. This is the note we leave all of you guys on mm -hmm. after watching. You this. said this one's gonna be crazy, so. Every every quote is crazy, bro. Because right. life is crazy. Life is. But anyway, crazy. you're right. Listen, man. You will never. Ever find out who your friends are through times of prosperity. You will only find your friends through adversity. Damn. Damn. I didn't I almost didn't want to hit it for myself. Damn. You will never, ever, in times of prosperity, know who your friends are, but through times of adversity, bro. Remember that. I didn't know who needed to hear that. I don't know who watching, I don't know who listening needed to hear that. Damn. But never through prosperity, through adversity. That just hit me, bro. That just hit me, dog. Nah, are you That's serious? That's it. That's it. I want to drop the mic, but this is mad expensive. We can't. Yeah, you don't want to do that, dog. You, you don't want to do that. We on a budget. Yeah. You feel me? But I don't have time. Listen, man. We appreciate you guys coming in and listening. We always appreciate y'all, man. We don't mean to end up. If you made it this far, like, we really rock with you for real. God, they rock with us. Know what I'm saying? You feel me? If they made it this far, like, we doing real. something right. 
We just and I hope we are. We just try to do what it do, man. We give y'all really give y'all really consistency, really give y'all personality, give y'all laughs, entertainment, and just just authentic authenticity. See that? See that? See that? I said brotherhood first. You didn't have to say that you said brotherhood <laughs> first. You could have just left it at that. Now I have to give it fire. <laughs> But nah, we just want to get continue to give y'all consistency in in our personality, consistency in, in our in our content. Period. Consistency in just being authentic to y'all. You know, we just want to make y'all feel like y'all y'all are a part of us here talking. Yeah, y'all, just, kinda, y'all kinda are when you know you think it, about it. It feels like they are in front of us. You know what I'm saying? It, it does feel like they are in front of us. It is weird at, at times that the camera is in front of us. But I'm I'm envisioning that we in in front of an audience. We we we, you know we in unison, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I do this this is very motivating. You know what I'm saying? Knowing For that sure, we, bro. we gotta make some episodes and we gotta make sure that uh you know we keeping our people entertained. This was an know? excellent talk today, bro. I appreciate excellent talk. I appreciate this and I appreciate you, my boy. Oh, for sure, always, you know man. No. Hey yo, this has been can't make this up though. You know what I'm saying? Suave Entertainment presents. Know what I'm saying? Stay safe, y'all. Stay safe, y'all. Stay black.